Dude, it's like, dude, it's okay, man. Naruto is bad with the with the Rasengan as well. Oh man, God. look what you, happened. You can't compare this to Naruto. Get dude, out of here. It looked, like, oh, it looked the same thing, man. It was a blue ball of water. Well, Naruto has a nice little Naruto had look. latent potential. Yeah, like, he has nine till fox. David, potential. you didn't yeah. watch Naruto. You stay out of it. <laughs> I know what he has, man. <laughs> Everything I know about the show is from memes, all right? It's enough to know about watching the show. What's up, everyone, and welcome to the Anime Izakaya Podcast, week 8 of the spring 2020 season. On this show, we'll be discussing the current season of anime airing every week. I'm your host, David, and joining me today, we have Stren. Hello, everyone. Next up, we have Q. Well, hello, everybody. Next up, we have Brian. Hello! And finally, we have Sasha. Bukara yo! Bukara yo! All right, but, but there was no welcome back. Who he, we we were missing this man for a week. That is cold, David. I think this is I giving credence right? to the rumors that Ku is angry about how much he's being he's being paid for the show. And so <laughs> yes, <laughs> yep, Master David. Okay, to be fair, like we couldn't Ku couldn't help it, but we, we're glad to have him back. I feel we got, we almost. <laughs> Give um, what was it? Give respect to this man who was developed internet for that one week, bro. It was so he came out alive too. Oh, it man. was so horrible. You know what I did when I got off work? I went to sleep. Wow! Oh my god, Sad. you pulled it, David. Oh that's god, that's the worst. Sad. That's all. That's all you can do. Like what? Sounds else? like you had a healthy lifestyle, and now you reverted back to Super <laughs> Mario or whatever it's called. <laughs> yeah. No, we're glad to have Ku back into civilization. So, um. Going on to anime news, the only thing we already have this week is just Haikyuu being delayed from summer, and I guess they didn't say like when it's going to be airing next. Hopefully, it'll be um, fall, so we'll keep an eye on that. But I mean, summer. So hopefully, summer is just it's just going to be most of the shows from spring, and so it was already like stacked already. So I it, it I think it should be fine being delayed to fall. Hopefully. And then we're gonna move on um, straight to uh, Tower of God. Not 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 Biori, man. Not season be- three. Okay, fine. Yes. Only I'm only I'm excited. We can move on. Yes. Okay. Yes. Not on Biori. Season three is airing January for Stratton. Yes, All dude. Right. It's the only show that I would watch like before I go to bed. It just gets you in that calm state of mind, and you just knock out. It's nice. Thanks for letting us know. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Thanks for mentioning it, David. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna move on next to Tower of God. Um. So this was basically a continuation of last week's episode where they had they had the tests where i think it was like team a they had to um they had to uh like it's like the game of tag wasn't it like someone was it was like the ranker the the red hair ranker he was it and they he had to get that um was it the badge from from team a yeah so it's kind of a mixture of capture the flag and 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 tag yeah um there was a ranker that was it that had to capture the other person's it badge, and then the other team, which is like the users that are trying to climb the tower, they have a chosen it person as well, and they have to make it to the uh, the exit point uh, to to pass the test. Yeah, so um, I guess like the first half or majority of this episode was basically continue on. Um, so it seems like like. Okay, it was really weird what happened in this episode because like the whole time like we kept thinking that uh that it was Kuhn's plan to like he had a solid plan to actually win the whole thing. And then at the end he just like he revealed that he like um he basically betrayed his team and let let, let the ranker like like end up winning it. So and like they mentioned But he did it for his boys. Yeah, they mentioned they mentioned it was like part of the assignment. I don't know what like like it was actually part of the assignment, or something else was going on, but like it was just, I don't know. It felt very weird. Like, because we're not supposed to know yet, right? I don't know. Like, probably next episode. I don't know. Like, well, I think the t- test instructors, whatever they're called, the guy sitting down drinking his Insta coffee, we just—he's probably like dude, dude, I, fancy look, coffee, man. Fancy coffee. Oh yeah, fine. <laughs> fancy. dude. You know that guy has sexually assaulted his workers, but he—he's just so high up that nobody can say anything against him. He just sits there in the little yoga pose, like, oh yeah, touch your toes, kids. Dude, he has that. He's that right hand, man. It's just—it's just too strong. 
too strong. Um, yeah. I think he was implying that there's more to Kuhn than meets the eye. And hence, they probably think that he's a schemer, which is why he lost on purpose. So I, I don't know. Kuhn, Kuhn is interesting. There's a concept called like first order, second order, third order, and beyond thinking. So basically like thinking as many steps ahead as possible. And obviously, I think this episode was mostly about developing his character. And you can see, one... He is probably smarter than 99% of the people there, like on the level of a ranker to a degree. And two, he doing it for his boys. Like <laughs> he has shown strong loyalty. So the reason why he lost was, uh, you know, he wants, what was the guy? Bond, Bond, Bond me yeah. to, to get through. <laughs> so well, their, their whole group was already automatically through, weren't they? I forgot how, no. it, I forgot how it no, went. Not like, oh, not I think it's like, okay. like, it was like the earlier test from before where like, I think if you did well, you didn't you automatically pass and you didn't need like this test. I think it was whoever didn't pass the um like the position test before. Like I think like um the horn guy Ho, I think he didn't pass his test, so I think he had to win. In order to uh pass. the only the only two that passed was Rack and the other guy. That was but they're they're saying like how like you know like Shibitsu, like he didn't ha- have to pass the the team test in order to go on. He would have been fine. Like Wait, which one should be two? The, the the guy the purple tracksuit. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. The useless guy. <laughs> so hey, man, he is the killer martial art. <laughs> oh, okay. We we have yet to see that, so it's it's just all talk right now. Like, they, but they, um, it's all in the bed. But they list Did like four people. Their... Like they list uh four people on um Kuhn's like ten friends sign up sheet, but the four people already had enough like was it points to pass on to the next area. So I forgot uh, yeah, I forgot when that happened, but like like when they got all the people or the, the four people on Kun's like um his friends like she like they they had enough points to to go on so like they didn't need to win the team test as much as other people did so that's why oh, that's right. why yeah, Kun gotcha. didn't mind betraying his team because i think he he also like had enough points that he didn't need so, this test so did everybody go through like their own separate tests on Already, like, did everybody, and then ba- the people we're watching now are the only ones, like, everybody else failed besides, like, how Ku already mentioned, like, those two people. Um, yeah, I want to say that, um, when they're trying to progress in their own uh class tests, um, from what I've seen, the only one that passed without or without issues was Rack and the other guy who were able to hit their, their target with their spear, but it didn't show any of the other characters passing their um, uh, their classes. Yeah, that's why I was confused because yeah. it didn't show everybody, they just showed. Mm, four five maybe right and then bottom like totally sucked up like from what his instructor mentioned like he has really good uh potential i guess but his control really sucks and they were constantly trying to work with him on that i mean See? even even in an episode he mentioned that like wow last week i could even like form the uh the ball or the laser but thanks to that that futon guy's uh advice he was able to actually manifest his power a little bit better. Yeah, I didn't even know it was like actually like I thought it was just training. I didn't realize it was actually like during his uh his test. I, yeah. I just assumed it was just training. Yeah. I think it's one thing the show has not done a good job of. Like typically when you have these training or test or tournament arcs, like you you know the weight, you know what's at like what's at stake. And in this one, it just kind of feels almost like nah, I don't want to say filler because it definitely moves the story forward. But it kind of feels like a side story rather than something that should be the focus. But you know, um, to me, listen. yeah, like it just feels arbitrary. Like a lot of these tests feel so arbitrary. Or, like, like yeah, the tests, like, great the, way to put the, it. the games, like it just feels there's no like reason or. Hey man, like, maybe there is. We just don't know. There's no reason or like patterns. Uh, yeah, it's just it seems like just to go like make up as they go or I don't know, just I don't know. Just hopefully they're created to eliminate people with red horns because if <laughs> if they're made for that, then I'm all for the dude ho. I just hate this character, man. Is, is the horn red? I'm pretty sure it's red. Okay, I think it's red. Brian, Brian. Yeah, Brian horn is shot. red. Okay, okay. <laughs> we need your services. But... Dude, yeah, Brian. Sorry, Sasha, but, continue. No, but I'm just saying, like, this guy is just such a schmuck. Walking in there, giving people dirty looks, and then acting like he's their best friend. and then... But he doesn't have the power or the smarts to back it up. You can just tell he's the ultimate insecure dweeb. That's in that group, and he's like, "I I hope I get in. My family's being killed because we have red horns." Boo 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 boo. Man, I just want someone to just grab him by that horn, just rip it out, be like, "Shut up, Jesus. <laughs> shut up." Right, well, yeah, I I just don't like this at all. I don't. We don't know if it's because of the horn, or if it's if it's the, because of the horn, or if because the horn is red. 
Dude, it's just like why uh, people hunt rhinoceroses, right? Like yeah. they take their horn, they grind it up, and makes their dicks bigger or whatever. Like exactly <laughs> what they're doing. Medicinal purposes. Yes. Yes. Yeah. This that's why his name is Ho. He's about to get used like one. Oh, boom, boom. All right, I'll, I'll stay away. Okay. Well, I don't, I don't hate him that much, but I mean, like, he's not. They don't really do a good job making Mike. Well, it's actually in this episode where, like, because the one girl she was saying how, like. She feels bad about how, like, she might eventually have to kill everyone. And then, like, she asks Yoho, like, don't you feel this way? And he's like, no, I need, like, we do what we must. No hard feelings. It's like, okay, bro, you're just going to die later. Like, that was yeah. a pretty dark uh, cut scene. Or, like, it was a cut scene to the past. I was not really expecting you mean, that you mean kind a of uh, flashback. <laughs> they all got flashback, back. Sorry. Mm. Dude, that was, like, that was, like, uh, that's that pretty intense I mean, massacre. Like, the series, I, not like the series hasn't been dark with, like, people dying. But I feel like that, I agree with Threaten. Like, just to see that, like, the Rankers, we don't know much about them. We don't know how ruthless they are or throat. And just to see this guy throw, or a girl, throwing out these random scythe-looking things, cut people's bodies in half. Man, it, Dude, it was amazing. Like I, I was not expecting it. I mean, I was just going to seem like, oh, everybody around me just died. And they're just, you know, just kind of showing that also. But now you, you see, like, the flashes of, of uh, limbs flying everywhere. I guess, like, yeah, limbs uh, is, like, more, more grotesque than... Their horns getting like being hunted for the horns for question so your is your, your have... thought the horn or limbs which is more grotesque i mean i didn't, I didn't say it Ooh, was more, more grotesque think... but i'm just saying like like it's not like it wasn't as dark when the, they revealed like the backstory of these characters i don't know i just I, ha I have no like for this horn guy so for me that that, that massacre of his family or village or whatever that was it wasn't that bad it's like yeah you know you guys deserve that <laughs> whereas whereas these people you know they're criminals but they're doing this because they're trying to feed their families okay guys okay. Do, so <laughs> okay <laughs> do we really know what, that it was actually necessary yet? Like, <laughs> yes we do. <laughs> yeah i think we yeah. just like his entire family just kind of go out but, or uh, his entire clan just go out <laughs> we don't know the, even the reasonings why I, I, could just, you. I, I could basically just picture where it's just like I could see like you know him and the other you know people that just massacred their family just kind of walk up they talk and then just immediately can tell like what the basically with his like uh, his facade and they just started killing everybody. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's uh okay. okay it's these, these two are just kind of these side characters that yeah I could see this guy being a manipulator too. Like he probably just glue that horn on. Like that story is true about the, the village <laughs> wow, being massacred. You're just being like, a hater. Oh, okay. Such why? A... I, I agree with Sasha, even though I don't have any. Uh, He's really I don't have any, uh, any, anything to back it up with. Horns fake, hair's fake. He dyes it. He's wearing contacts, probably. Everything about oh this guy God. just screams fake. I'm telling you, he's using that story as a as as a way to get people to feel bad for him and draw people in, and he's gonna stab him in the back with the horn because it's fake because he can take it off. Just wait. So you're, so you're telling me that this guy is trying to break the fourth wall and make us, the viewers, feel bad for him? That's right. That's some next level shit. Right <laughs> Dude, that's... <laughs> I don't know the other that's how he rolls, man. See, if they really wanted to make us feel bad, like they'd have to like get us to actually like the character. They they basically they immediately start off with just like us want like hating the character and just kind of like, wishing it's like, man, this guy just needs to go away. And they show a flashback of his entire family getting wiped out. It's like, okay. I mean, it's a start. I don't not the right character. I mean, not the right guy. But... I don't hate the character, I just don't care much about him. It's like yeah, yeah, same thing. It's I, same I, thing. I, it's not the same thing. Like, I, Sasha, like, actively hates him. Listen, if my super soaker does better than his Shinsu or whatever it's called, that's a terrible. <laughs> you you deserve no pity from me. Right. <laughs> so, I, I, I'm going to have to agree with Sasha on this one. Yes, Damn. yes. You guys are haters. It. You guys are just haters. I, I, do, we, do we see him try to do... Oh, no, he, he did try to get it. To go like once, right? Like into a ball, but they're just yeah, but really like, bad. Oh, yeah. Didn't yeah. yeah, dude, it's like, dude, it's okay, man. Naruto is bad with the with the Rasengan as well. Oh and look what you, happened. You can't compare this to Naruto. Can dude, I hear? It looked, like, oh, it looked Naruto, the same thing, man. It was a blue ball of Bro, water. Was Naruto has a nice little fox. Naruto had latent potential. Yeah, yeah he has a nice little fox. Has any sort of David, potential. you didn't yeah. watch Naruto. You stay out of it. I know what he has, man. Everything I know about the show Yo, is from least... memes, right? It's enough to, to know about right, watching well, the show. Naruto... <laughs> we do Naruto. Uh, no, go ahead. Go ahead. I was going to say, he had a gangster teacher, and he had the attitude, right? Like, 
His his family was killed, but he wasn't crying about it. He's like, man, I'm gonna make friends with people despite me being a freak. This guy, I'm a freak. You better feel bad for me. <laughs> boo, 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 boo. Shut up, you hoe, because that's what you are. Okay. <laughs> to be to be to be fair on his part, he didn't actually go about it that way though, because we don't nah, know how nah, bad nah. his backstory is yet. We we just know for the viewers. <laughs> just, just, just wait. <laughs> it's like horribly sad, and I've been wrong this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> he ends up being like one of the best guys. Like he's just a good guy. He cares about everybody, and we're just yeah. uh, jumping to conclusions. But until then, I'm with yeah. Sasha. M- maybe oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> the bar set too high because in our world, he's comparing the massacre to the Uchiha massacre. Maybe, Ooh. maybe that's it, right? Uh, Except Sasuke wasn't really much of a bitch like this guy. So <laughs> again, you guys are making fired. very good comparisons right now in Naruto. <laughs> That was my bad. Dude, I kind of just threw an arrow in there just because yeah. I was just relating to Rasengan. There was nothing more. It was a very shallow co- uh, yeah. comparison. All right. W- without getting into spoilers for any Naruto fans who are listening in, I know there's about three of you. <laughs> right? Let's just say. How long has Naruto been over, dude? I yeah, I was going to say. It was basically like, you know, how when people are saying for Final Fantasy VII, like spoilers, like, bro, the game's been over for over 20 oh, yeah, years. Right? Yeah. If anybody cares about spoilers for Naruto right now, just. Pause, mute, skip, whatever. Pause it. Dude. Yep. Because all I'm going to say is I hope this guy dies the same way a character who, who has a special vision power <laughs> dies. Oh, my God. <laughs> that, that's all I'm going to say. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> uh, the only thing I'm going to mention for Tower of God is that um they did show, too, um, in that flashback that Trent struggled to talk about where um uh was it Hadon the what were the guy's name I think Hadon the the tower, tower Red of Horn. God Red like Horn. guardian like wait the oh. rabbit oh oh that yeah. guy like he just randomly yeah, appeared but when she was when she was in that container ship like he just randomly appeared and just I guess like brought her to the tower so maybe she had some carrots in her pocket <laughs> maybe yes but um they, yeah it's just this is all set up it's a setup so I guess like I guess like he just randomly he just randomly appeared against in front of anyone that I guess he is, that has potential or whatever and just bring them to the tower. So just bringing more, shining more in the light into, I guess, how like the selection for the tower goes, even though, even though a lot of people would still get killed, not even, like, they, they can't even climb the tower yet. So that's again, very weird, but that's the only thing I, I want to mention. Uh, does anyone have anything else to bring up for Tower of God? You know, I'm, uh, I've heard from multiple sources and this time I do actually have more than one source <laughs> <laughs> saying that the webtoon picks up dramatically. And I just hope we get a sample of that because it feels like we're in this little bit of a lull right now where they're setting things up and there could be a huge payoff. But I hope we get it this season. I hope we get a piece of that payoff because right now uh, I, I think, yeah, we're, I mean, running out, we're running out of time for that. I think payoff. we're yeah, suffering from, I don't know, man. I think we're I suffering think... from the seasonal like um, format. I think like yeah, just this first season is not gonna have enough time to get there. Yeah, I from from what I've heard as well is like for this first season only being thirteen episodes, it's like that's not nearly enough time to like pick up. And I bet they're rushing through a lot of things because the pacing seems to be. If what's true, they're cutting out a lot of things and skipping over it. It's very, it's hard. Yeah, I, I can see that. Yeah. It's very like it's weird because it's very. It, it sounds like they're cutting stuff, but at the same time, it's also it feels slow. So it's very awkward yeah. pacing. Well, I, th- I think especially to us who haven't read it, it, it feels a little bit on the slower end. But at the end of the day, if within these thirteen episodes, someone with blonde hair and a horn dies, get their body crushed <laughs> randomly, I think it'll be that's part of the payoff. Okay. That's all. All right. We're going to leave it right there then. All right. So that's going to be it for Tower of God. Um, we're going to move on next to Glapnir. Um, So I guess in comparison to last week's episode where we had the the fight, the big Actually, well, cool. You weren't here last week. So I guess I want to hear what are your thoughts on last week's episode. Yeah. All right. So last week's episode kind of sucked. Well, to be you fair, I watched sucked. both episodes today. No, both the, I watched both of the episodes today. Okay. Um, but I kind of thought the last episode kind of sucked just because, uh, what was it? The cliffhanger was Chuichi just dying with the, the pink haired chick inside of her, right? Is that where that episode ended last week? No. I mean, they're not, not really dying. They, oh, like, they, 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 they recovered. They were not done, but they were, yeah, they were, they were regenerated. Okay. So, yeah. So, I watched both of the episodes today. So, maybe I'm just kind of like, put them together but i feel like this episode just made a lot more sense it was a lot more interesting just because it kind of just threw everything out there 
like oh like shuichi and uh elena actually knew each other back then uh, apparently someone erased his memories which i'm assuming it's elena uh because apparently um she's aware of what shuichi can and can't do and then um i kind of like how shuichi's kind of progressing as a character uh he seems to uh, have more of a, a let's go attitude more than a, a passive oh i'm scared i don't want to do anything i can't do anything on my own um, he's come to realize his own uh potential and uh, it looks like we have an actual goal now apparently there's someone that already has 100 coins and that's what elena's group is going to try to counter and apparently uh, the other group like claire and, and the other guys they have no idea what they're getting into so it, it seems to be picking up at a good pace so I, i'm liking it quite a bit now Good man. Okay. Good man. Question quick. What if yeah. um what if uh with the you know he lost his memory like let, let's say like before this like he, the the reason why he lost his memories is because he ended up getting the costume and then she like Elena wasn't actually expecting that and it just happened like in the process of it. But she's the one responsible for him getting it, remember? Cuz she had yeah, the key. But, but, but what I'm saying is like you know she gets the costume, but she doesn't know that like let's say if he gets the ability or the power then he like wipes like all like he loses his memories because of it. Mm. It's a long shot, but I don't know. Yeah, because you know, because the costume is meant for basically two people. So let's say they both go on to that whole thing, but then because of like he getting the powers for some reason he lost his memories, and then uh, you know that was something that she didn't expect. And, and then she uh, jumps but, in. Yeah, well, because they memories... basically yeah, where I, where I feel like they could have because she kind of hinted at where she was saying about how um you know like they have different paths. Like, let's say if at the time that they were like you know colluding. You know, you know, together to actually like where they had the same paths where they wanted to do the same thing, but then when he got the powers, he lost the memories of her and then kind of did his own thing and became a nice guy. Hmm. I don't know. It's Maybe. just one, one theory. Um, That's all I got, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it just seems like a giant clusterfuck right now because they're throwing a lot at you in these past two episodes. Um, like Metamorphosis. This guy is meant to be someone else, and then apparently Elena's group might be the good group after all. Um, but they're they're just throwing a lot at you with these past couple episodes. I feel so kind of anything goes at this point. Hey, don't forget the guy who can grow plants, dude. That, that guy's guy. OP, man. That guy is OP. That tree he's literally yeah, that was pretty cool. Earth. That was yeah, that was pretty cool actually. <laughs> dude, he's so oh, I don't know. Like he has pretty cool power, but his his personality and his character, I don't really like it. <laughs> It's a typical uh, personality for his type of character. He reminds me of another Naruto drop. Here is a uh, what was the guy's name with the gl- sunglasses and the bugs? Oh, uh, is it Shino? Sh- oh, sh- Shino? Was oh, it Shino? Shino sounds right. That's, yeah, that sounds yeah, right. Shino. Him and yep. the bugs. This guy in the nature. They should just get together, have a good time. But no one would care about them. Those would become teachers that no one Whoa. cares about. Unless Shino they want Boruto, because Shino plays Dude, a big part Shino in Boruto. Shino dope, man. Yeah. Especially uh, Boruto. I don't know. Yeah, um, only in Boruto. Dude, a lot of characters became better when they were in Boruto. Um, like who? You take that back. Boruto's so trash, though. Take that back. Uh, well, I mean, so, well, Sakura, for one. Um, I also, um, was it Sasuke? I quit hating him in Boruto before I quit watching it. No, All I'm gonna couple. say is this: both trash and they have okay. Trash daughter, okay, I'm just going on a completely different tangent right now. Jesus. Also pisses me off, dude. Like you have these OPS fuck characters, right? Naruto, Sasuke, and shit, and then they just fucking throw them under the bus. Like, yeah, dude, you're gonna do like one chakra move, and then you're out of chocolate reserves, bro. What the fuck do you mean? You're legit as powerful as a fuck. I'm. I just hate Boruto. It's okay, sir. Our discussion is not with Boruto. Brian, it's because they're getting old, man. That's, yeah, that's all it is. Yeah, yeah they're, old, they're all in their thirties. It's so old, they're, dude. The, 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 David, the no, the I'm whole just... thing about this show is basically just getting old sucks. Okay, that's what that's yeah. that's the life lesson to Boruto. Because being yeah, a ninja, just... being your ninja in your thirties, oh. it does. Dude, just being in your thirties sucks, man. David, okay. don't throw in ninjas. It's there's, just being in the thirties. No there's no plus side. Damn, you guys are messed up. <sighs> yeah, man. <laughs> All I'm, I'm calling all the is 30 that the year third Hokage was old as dirt, <laughs> and this man was just wrecking havoc, man. Wait, what? All right, but let me ask you a question to get us back on track. <laughs> what if Naruto had a giant handgun <laughs> that could blast <laughs> the village? That's what's up. If only. That's all good. I, I kind of started this with by mentioning Shino. So. Dude, I started by yeah. mentioning Mersengan, man. 
hey man, that's how we roll. Oh, speaking of which, I actually kind of liked how when he transformed uh, to that one cat girl, his giant revolver become dual pistols. Dual pistols so I'm yeah. guessing, yeah, whenever I guess whenever he cool. changes forms, his gun changes as well. So I thought that was pretty cool. Did you like the transformation, or do you think it was um like? I, I was know. more I was more trying to figure out is if he was actually dead or if they're still alive. Like, how does that revert back and forth? Because I was I was, was kind of like confused about that. He he essentially died before he transformed, but because he died, he was able to uh, fully unleash his power to metamorphosize into whatever the hell that was. And then after it was all said and done, they turned back into like the regular form, and they're both okay. So I thought that was, that was yeah, kind of there, far, there was there was there was toothpaste still left in the tube, Koo. There was <laughs> it wasn't all out. Oh, so he can fucking regenerate too, and then sure, as long I mean, as there's a little bit, there's that little bit you could never get out it's gonna of. Gonna the be, tube. Yeah, the anime thing That's where it's thing. gonna be the anime thing where like they're probably just barely alive somehow. That's where all his vital organs were. Okay, in that little tube bit. That's right. His uh-huh. heart, his like kidneys, they're all in there. But I think. I mean, it's a cop out, but Elena yeah. said basically anytime his he combines with somebody else, his power goes to unimaginable levels. So, which is probably why, even though he was crushed, uh, metaphorically speaking, they were combined. They were closer than ever, which allowed their powers to grow, and they became this weird looking two-tailed thing. cat. No. Yeah, I would definitely not mess with that. <laughs> Listen, man, that girl, she needs to stop calling people. They need to take away her phone. They need to start chopping off her hands. Whatever they got to do, yeah. they need to get that girl out of the group. Dude, I, yeah, dude, she's just like trouble. Like dude, immediately, was, like when they get out of the thing, she calls She calls like the really man. Yeah. Like, why? Yeah. Like, like, you basically just got destroyed by like the second hand man with, you know, like, uh, you know, like the dad and mom with. Yeah. I'm on Team Claire, bro. Anybody who Team Claire doesn't like, I don't like. So hopefully Claire finds her. She goes, I know you remember something. She's like, no, I, I don't remember anything. And pulls out that Magnum. What now? What now? Right. So that'd be pretty cool. <laughs> Except when she shoots that Magnum, then she ba- she just breaks her back because of the recoil. <laughs> hey, Perfect. perfect. Yeah. That, that's, that's good stuff. Also, I'm very curious about uh, the lawyer guy's fighting skills. Because I think he was being modest when he said he goes, oh, I don't know if I could take them on. I'm very curious to find out how strong he actually is. He's got to be strong. Wait, There's no way. Did he confirm that he was just a, a freeder? We we don't know that uh, yet. Uh, know. We don't know if he's he telling the he truth. A, he said he was a 19 year old who does nothing. He's a freeder. Sure, yeah. sure. I mean, it's perfect for an anime series when you're trying to have a you have power, trying to fight other people. You don't have anything holding you back. Yeah, I can relate. I'm more scared of the guy that can transform to a giant dog and produce trees from, from seeds. That's Wait, why? who I'm scared of. Dude, it's, 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 it's a giant hippie, man. Did you see that giant it's dog, bro? That, that giant dog was horrendous. I mean, what kind of design is that? Like, I thought he when he when he turned back into his human form, I thought it was gonna be some kind of like uh like really old scraggly looking dude with a hunchback, you know. That's why his his head was so like weirdly shaped when he just yeah. a giant beast. And it just this little like Fruity looking kid with a bandana. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, well, I did not expect that to happen. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, I didn't really know what to expect. He his character form reminds me of Full Metal Alchemist fans. There's this there's this episode where this guy is messing with his daughter and he he basically like what was it? He has her face on on a dog or something like that. Yeah, he I think it's mixed with a dog, yeah. Yep, the chimera. I, so basically, that's what it reminded me of. I'm like, oh man. So when he, you know, shifted back to whatever the hell he was, um, you know, human, <laughs> I, I definitely thought it was going to be like a, a chubby kid who's like, hey guys, I'm kind of the slow one here. But no, it, it was just like some guy who's been watching uh, Shuichi. Yeah, maybe, maybe it was just yeah. like, you know, a guy that you know, went to the. I mean, he, he was like the neighborhood kid near his um, cram school. Dude, he could have just given the coin to the alien guy and basically just said, you know, he liked nature and. Full Metal Alchemist, and he became that guy. Yeah, yeah, sure. Very, Makes yeah. sense, right? Maybe he's the most powerful one. He's the hundred coin, and hey, he's they, they have manga in the world, so you know, hey, FMA, maybe. Hey, what about that guy with the shovel? What was the, what was he implying there? That the guy cut off the dog's leg? What was missing there? I, I didn't get that. His tail, I believe. Oh. Tail. Yeah. But I have no. I honestly have no idea what he meant by that. Um, uh, I think that it was. I feel like it was just implying that 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 dude is like shady as shit because like in literally the first episode he ran across like that dog beaver 
rat thing, whatever the fuck it was, and I had his tail cut off too. As a dog. Wait, which one? Wait, the first hmm, episode. I don't remember this. Yeah, I was in the I, first episode. I don't remember that at all. How do you so, remember yeah. this? Wow. What do you mean? That's oh, why there was a flashback, been... bro. Dude, no, no, no. There was a flashback to. To literally the first episode when there was the dead oh. animal in front of the school. I yeah, thought you had a flashback to the dog's tail. Yeah. Not not a flashback, no. but like a. Yeah, I remember there was a dead dog in the first episode, but was the tail missing as well? Yeah. Oh. Huh. Yeah, I don't really remember. Okay. But yeah. Hmm. yeah, this is interesting. So yeah, this we're supposed to be discussing these things. We should know these things. <laughs> That's right. I blame David for not being more strict with us. <laughs> so wait a minute. Yeah, if, if, if you took that guy and you cut off people's tails and then we kind of gave him a different haircut, like he blew his hair out, he would look like that guy in the tracksuit who visited with Elena later that day when he was just like, hey, this you know, it's not suspicious that you're out there saving people. What's going on? I don't, I don't think the same. I don't think they'd be the same guy though. So. Hey, you never know, man. What if he cut off his own tail? <laughs> <laughs> we don't know this yet. David. <laughs> okay. We have okay. no idea. Sasha could be telling could, the truth. I think he could be part of the group, or it could be probably maybe part of the third group. Then, like that, they're all fighting against, or about to um, fight against. Probably in the last like couple episodes. Who knows what's going to happen? All I know is I hope the hoe of this series is the telescope guy. I hope he dies, too. <laughs> I hate that guy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah. surprised he's still alive. I feel like he, he'd be the type of guy, though, that would betray everybody. He would. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm sure he will. Yep. And he's worthless, too. Or he's he's, like, he's, he's, he's going like, to like, He's going to be like, like, the one that gets him in trouble. Like, just basically, like, someone's doing, like, a scouting mission, and he just gets the one, ends up being the one, like, getting them, like, Getting their locations revealed, something like that, something dumb like that. Goddamn, Brian, you're on top of the shit. Holy shit! <laughs> yeah, I oh, totally forgot. Oh my that. god! So, for anybody watching right now, Brian just posted that flashback picture. We're like, wow. Okay, first episode. Dog oh, like, with the tail cut off. Was it a dog or a raccoon? It's like a raccoon sort of thing. Yeah. I guess. Raccoon. I don't dog. know what's indigenous but, in Japan or whatever. Tanuki, that the raccoon tail. dog. Dude. Yeah. Oh, Yo. yeah, the Tanukis. Aren't yeah, those, like, Yo. sacred? What? No, it's deer. Uh, I don't know if yeah, they're sacred. Man. They're common, I'm pretty sure. So. Yeah, I mean, they're like a, they're like a pigeon. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> yes. Uh, I, I should have actually said Zig Zigzagoon, but anyway, exactly. good call, Brian. Good call. Yeah, but, I mean, like I said, the show is definitely keeping me interested. It, it, it's got me guessing a lot of things that are going to happen, so I'm digging it. I, I, I do wonder... What we're gonna get by the end of thirteen episodes? Dude, like so many things are happening. Like how Ku said, like every episode that is just like you kind of maybe get like what's going on, and then like next episode, like at the end of it, it just switches everything around again. I have no clue, but it's, it's awesome. I'm still guessing that yeah, it's gonna be that the third the third party that they're after, that everyone's after. I wonder if if it's just gonna be like between the fight between the third party and Elena's group, and if like if Shuichi and, and Claire are gonna, if they're gonna even do anything because. It seems like they're 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 underpowered compared to everyone else. Yeah, there's gotta be like more like a, it can't be just like these two teams. There's gotta be more teams. What's like, oh, well, don't sure. forget. Remember that gorilla guy who had the markings on the forest, and he assaulted that girl running in the tree, or oh, not, yeah. in the tree. Sorry. In the oh woods. yeah. Oh yeah. I haven't mentioned. I, yeah, they haven't, they haven't mentioned him either. So I guess we don't maybe know. that guy has a hundred coins. <laughs> yeah, and he has the ability to to control monkeys and that stuff. So, but, but didn't they make it sound like though you just need a hundred coins and it like fixes the whole thing, right? Or at least that that's what the alien said. Uh, not it's... fix the whole thing, but it gives you the next step. The the next oh, like, right. cars. Yeah. Oh, okay, it's, gotcha. It's like because they already get like a wish from the one coin, so I assume like hundreds like, I don't know, like a bigger wish. I don't I mean, know. Hmm. Bold prediction here. Go ahead. Oh, uh, were you gonna say something? I was just gonna say that's a terrible payoff. It's like one coin you get like the you get like the monster ability, then you have to hundred you have to get a hundred coins for the next power. Fuck that. I'm good at one. I know, right? <laughs> we don't know what that is. Okay. <laughs> but I, I got two bold predictions. Number one, telescope guy. I think he's gonna be the one to die from that girl's curse of the hair around the throat. I th- I think that's how he's gonna oh, die. Yeah. And oh damn, yeah, I can see that. I can oh yeah, I can definitely see that. And then second bold prediction is I wanna say whatever this payoff of a hundred coins is. I think it's gonna be like the monkey's paw, where like you get your wish, but it's twisted as hell. So it's just like everything so far. They get these powers, but there seem to be these parts that you just you just don't want. Like, yeah, I want to grow plants. I don't have to turn into a hairy dog that looks, you know, 
Like yeah, that's a good point. Never ending dragon <laughs> took a little bit too much of that cocaine. <laughs> so uh, I, I think whatever this is, there's going to be uh, this is going to be a huge like uh, Elena. Her power, I feel like it, it has a very dark side to it, and that seems obvious. But probably has to like kill people in order to maintain maintain that power or something. I don't know. Uh, but I just get this feeling that this this alien who seems very friendly and willing to give people coins is doing this probably to use them for their power or something eventually. So, yeah. Yeah, I can see all that. Yeah. So, well, we'll see what happens in the coming episodes. So hopefully, hey, wait. I'm hoping that, hopefully that season ends well, too, because we're almost at the end, too. So. I think it'll be fine. I'm just, I'm just, just ma- scared. The, the manga's it. still going, so... I'm just scared they're going to end it at a cliffhanger, and then we're not going to get anything else no for a long two. time. No season it's two be, for you. It's going to be a bunch of bullshit. No, no, no season two for you, Stren. I would, I would probably read this manga though. Like, I'm, I'm actually like pretty invested. It's very interesting. Nice, <laughs> nice. I, I, I will. If you read it, I will read it. Okay. Dude, I got a long list of manga I have to read. I keep saying, I was like, oh, I have this to read. Oh, I have this to read, too. And, oh, this one as well. But I just have not started any of them. I mean, all, all, your, all your favorite shows are, like, their light novels are ending. So you got a lot yeah, of that too. To. It's like, well, it's like to being in COVID, man. I have a bunch of time to do it. I just haven't done it. Hey, you have a job now, so. All right, guys. Yeah. There's, there's been one person who's been unusually quiet about this show right now, and that's that's Bri Bri. Bri Bri, can you please tell us your thoughts? Because just like Ku, you were on the edge of saying, man, forget this. I'll watch it, but I won't like it. I won't like it, man. <laughs> but now, <laughs> what are your thoughts, Bri Bri? Please let us know. Uh, let's see. We pretty much talked about all of them, I'm not going to lie. Um, Bro, but we want to hear. From, there's, yeah. You know how many people there are out there that are just like diehard Bri Bri fans? They're no. disappointed right now. <laughs> yeah, man. We had somebody in the chat that said you're so cute as even though, you know. Oh, you just shit, take a picture dude. of uh, oh, shit, He's got a fan. Not fair, man. I know, right? Yeah, dude. Do it for your fan. My fans, dude. Uh, th- I don't know, man. These last couple weeks were like, meh. The the last episode was just a wrap up. Fucking, you find people's powers. Camera guy is probably gonna die pretty soon here. Um, spoiler. Fucking, uh, dog, animal, chick, girl thing. She's useless too. I hope. Wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry. That made the <laughs> animal I'm girl chick. Last <laughs> the, the, the animal chick? Oh, the okay. one with the bunny. But not bunny. The oh. Ears. Yeah. yeah, the animal yeah, chick. She's probably yeah. into business yeah. that is not hers to be prying in, dude. If she, if she knows information, at least let the mans know, hey, remember your memories that you lost? I remember all of them for you, dude. Let the mans know. But why does she remember them, though, and he doesn't? Because the mans... A bitch. That's why. Whoa. Jesus, whoa. dude. Damn. Whoa. Just, wow. He is not a bitch. You're talking about the other guy with the bandana, all right? Yeah. <laughs> He's uh, like, Shuichi is definitely changing. You can like, you can tell. But, yeah. Um, I'm going to assume that it's got something deeper that, like, that we don't know about that. Most likely. So, maybe something with the powers, something like locked his memory away. Yeah. Maybe it's because she's the one going into the suit. Hmm. I don't know. Just. Well, because when they combine, still, it, they share the memories, well? but yeah. They should. Yeah, but like I said, it's kind of just a giant clusterfuck right now. They're just throwing everything at you and not explaining how anything works, really. Yeah. So we kind of just have but, then, but then again, though, it also, it, I mean, it actually makes sense because, like, you know, Shuichi, like, you know, he doesn't, like, he doesn't remember the, he doesn't remember Elena. Um, like with like the the memories and everything, but yet the people who just, yep, like, they, they just know who it is. He doesn't remember his childhood either because, um, he That's thought, true. As he well, thought I was the only person in the class, and then the the flower guy said, "Oh, I remember seeing you like, hanging out with fuck? friends." <laughs> yeah. So he probably he probably met That's Elena true. in that class too. I'm assuming. Yeah. Reaper, I'm telling you, there's something up with that comment. <laughs> <laughs> he hated his trees. <laughs> anyway, I'm you good. stepped out. What about flowers? Any, any <laughs> final <laughs> thoughts, Brian? No, not really. Okay. That's gonna be it for Clayton here. Wow, He's a Brian. Lost cause. I'm I'm sad. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. Right, I feel like suplexing you off the top of the world. <laughs> world tallest building. I right. next week. Yep, next week. All right, and then okay, um, plan. me and Sren, we're gonna move on next to Hamifura. Yes, yes. Um, so I guess this episode, like, I don't have much to say, but I we'll, we'll try. Sounds like another filler again, Sren. Like, like complaints Dude, about these fillers. This like, is the first episode. Where I'm like, 
God damn it, the show's going down. <laughs> and then I, I felt like son of a bitch. Like then, you know, we were gonna have to talk about it. I feel so bad saying it, but go ahead. I mean, bad saying. You can call it out for what it is. Yeah, I know, but I was enjoying it. So I, I actually was enjoying it up to I this mean... point. I even like the previous filler, and this one, I'm like, fuck, why go back to filler? It's basically moving but... like comedy to more of like slice of life now. Honestly, like even like. Dude, this last one was like it was pretty. It was pretty creepy. Um, I'm not gonna lie. The, um, definitely all, all the, the, the fantasies. Dude, gray hair guy. Gray hair guy is definitely the best one. Like he's all the, the other most options are, Yeah, all the other ones are just absolutely fucking creepy. You have a dude that basically is just like oh, like, where it, it basically just sounds like you know, he's just like uh, um, was it making you know going on moves even though, like can come come to my room and I'll have some glass of dude. wine with you. Dude, yeah, it was just like, goddamn, dude, like it's just creepy as hell. Even the guy with the, the like the, was it the, the brother that with the cookie? I'm thinking, oh, maybe you know, should just you know be like a normal thing. Definitely not. Eat, and then eat your cookie, nice. <laughs> yeah, dude, the, the funniest one though of all those was definitely the uh, was the white hair girl, Sophia. Like that whole such that like that one was like by the far like the best. And then of course, then you have the then you have the Kirito playing tuxedo mask, like he's like wanting to do some sort of. Um, deal with that. And I just thought like yeah, he's like I was actually okay with the guy until then, but now the gray hair guy is the best, <laughs> best option. Well, I mean to be fair, like they cut off his his short, so we didn't see the full of it. But but did you see the ending after the credits? Um, I'm trying to remember what what happened. Like, dude, they they climbed the tree together. They basically had a moment, and then you, I first thought like, oh man, maybe this is like a flashback to. You know, oh, like maybe, in the book, maybe, maybe I didn't not. watch it then. Okay, David, David, you missed the giant thing. Okay, it basically they had a moment, man. <laughs> it basically showed the true pairing right there, and then you have the also white, the it was Alan, the white haired guy. Yes. Okay. Yep. It was it was actually really good. That was the only part that actually made it. It seemed like this they moved the story forward. Everything else filler as fuck. But it was a uh, it, it definitely like if you like go back watch like the ending part that was that was easily the best part of the show or uh, episode. I mean. It's really weird too how like they left out like Mary and and Maria like just randomly out of the group and they only got through like those. I thought it was, it was gonna be like just like like it was only like, the guys, but then like Sophia was in there too, so it's very random. Um, Mar- Maria, what's the name of the other one? Mary. Oh no, Mary. Mary, 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 Mary what... and Maria. Get the Maria. Mar- Maria's name's okay. Fred. <laughs> okay, Maria. Okay. They're not it confusing been, at actually... all. I know, right? No, Maria is actually the one that I, w- I would have actually liked to see. I think it would have just been ridiculous. Mary, it would have been Mary's just like the same as Sophia. They're out. both like they're, they're both hella thirsty, but I think Maria is more like yeah. she's more wholesome. Like she's mm-hmm. like not even like romance. I mean, she just wants more of the friend. Just type. she wants to be friends. Yeah. yeah, she was basically like you know, uh, uh, you know, tossed to the side. You know, just because she was uh, um, what was it? She was like a poor. She was poor. Commoner with just crazy abilities. Do you need to go over, I still don't get do it. Do you need to go over nobility and monarchy dude, I, and I, I, dude, class, I still just don't get it, man. Just like, I just don't get it. Like if you're a commoner and you're just being pushed to the side and you have just crazy power, you know, just remove do we, do we everybody need, from that equation. Take over. Do we need to teach you about class structures, and David? I don't give it. We've already talked about this. I don't care about <laughs> class structure. <clears throat> I just keep saying just just terrible and wrong terms, but okay. It just okay. Yeah, anyway, I, I just want to say too, it just it because last episode with the 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 maze, the labyrinth, like, and then you have the shadowy figure that actually felt like it was going somewhere, and then you're just trying to this random book thing happen. So. so yeah, JK, we're gonna stop you guys. So I, I mean, if anything, it it basically it shows that uh, Maria and Mary, they both know that everybody that likes uh, MC. The uh, besides, I guess Alan, they didn't actually go through like the whole thing. For him, but like they kind of got you know like what like what was going on when he like made the the when she made like the comment where he's just like what the like what the hell are you talking about? I only played the piano. It's like yeah, that's all you get. <laughs> <laughs> when uh, because because they're technically supposed to be together, even though they both like uh, um, why do I keep blanking on the main girl's name? They say it like thirty times an episode. <laughs> oh my god, you don't know what's the... her name? Katarina. Katarina. Every single uh, character says Katarina. her name okay. like every five okay. minutes. Katarina, League of Legends, I got this. Okay, because <laughs> okay. basically it's just like both of them are in a Katarina, and so it's, everyone it's like says she... her name so much in the show. How do you not? I know, remember? and I can't remember, and I don't know why. But anyway, that's really the only thing that showed is just like those two know that everybody likes her. That's about it. But that was like obvious. Like that's what Mary already knew. Dude. 
David, this is an anime. Nobody knows anything in the show. Well, Mary was like, MC, MC in the, is definitely oblivious as fuck. Has <laughs> no clue. I guess her, sure, but like Mary, like was, she knew. Basically, everyone did she? Every, did yeah, she? Yeah, because she's trying to stop her and Alan getting together. Hmm. I, 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 hmm. Okay. I can and see like, that, and, yeah. and they're all like childhood friends. But it's so, only Alan, though. Yeah, but they're all childhood friends, so you would. Like I'm pretty sure she knows. Like ever since, like they're all kids. Like I don't know, man. This is anime logic. This is anime logic. This can go any way. People uh, just I guess. Well, no clue. Sure. It's... Oh. Remember, we we complained about this a couple episodes ago, David. Mainly you, but but anime logic. <laughs> about how, yeah, about how like you know, when, you know, just the main character had no clue. Okay, that's that's. And of course, she still has no clue. That's that's anime logic. Yeah, anime logic. That's because that's the main <laughs> character. But you hope it doesn't apply and, to the other and... characters. Was it MC Syndrome? Yes. It, I mean, it's, it's, I mean, basically, same as other rom-coms, just, just reverse harm. Actually, all yeah. all harm, I should say. Yeah. So. Sad thing, though, is like, I, love, I love my harms, but I actually think the reverse harm... Well, I don't know. Like, reverse harms are actually pretty good. I've only seen, like, you this say, is only my second one. You say that one. even though you don't watch any shoujo <laughs> at all. Yeah, to be fair, this is only my second one I've seen. But they're, they're not bad, because I think it's mainly because, like, you know, typical harms... They focus like they focus a lot on an et- and the etchiness and stuff like this, and then like the reverse ones, they really don't focus on any of that. Well, they actually they focus more on the story like, co- or they attempt more comedy. Instead of like etchy, it's always like the guy is trying to be pushy with the main girl. Yeah, this, but, the, but the problem with these ones though is that where I feel like is uh, the the main story doesn't really progress as much. Like they always get stopped. There always seems like those filler episodes, and it always seems like everything is bunched together in like, I mean, the last. That's like the main complaint episodes. of harms in general. Dude, harms are t- worse than that. Like, I, well, actually, I don't know. I think harms it's are a like, little bit, well, kind of like on the par. It's just like this one had yeah. more. It's had more interesting start, but now it's just like the fillers are killing it for me, at least. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just like what? There's four episodes left. How much more filler can they actually do without moving the story forward? So this is maybe. Do you think, think they just, will move? The, do you think mm-hmm. they'll move the story forward, or do you think it's all going to be less player? less likely now after this episode? I thought we we're getting somewhere after last week's with the uh, the shadowy figure, but then when we have this, it's like. Yeah, it's. Um, as I was gonna say, like, I don't think I don't think it's just gonna be one of those shows where they don't have a conclusion. Like at the end of the season, it's just gonna be op- open ended where she doesn't pick anyone. Yeah, I can see that too. Oh well, yeah, she's not picking anybody at the end of the season. There's no way. There's not enough. Um, well, I don't know. Go back. Ah, shit, I really wish you would have seen like the ending of the last episode, David, just to get your thoughts and <laughs> see, just to see if you if your opinion would change at all. Because it it kind of hints towards it, like they might be the main pairing. I still okay. I'm not lying. I'm not. I'm not lying. It, it definitely seemed like it. I hope they had a moment. For me, at least, I hope it's still like Maria. So really, yeah. I don't. Really, I still don't really hmm. care about any of the guys except maybe Alan. But that's because yeah, Alan's the best one by far. Because he's like the the least bad of all. Of yeah. them. but it's it's not gonna be Mary though because it, I think it's just obviously like like Mary just wants friends or just like basically friendships be accepted blah blah blah. Everybody else no they 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 definitely have uh you know relationship feelings because uh, Alan and Mary really seem like the only two normal people among this whole entire group. It's a gigantic group, and they all I seem mean, just batshit that crazy. That's harms for you. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I, I shouldn't say that because like normal harms too have batshit crazy people too. So I'm not gonna hate on that set in the in that sense. But anyway, I'm I'm hoping that next episode just kind of progresses the main story more. I mean, I like ridiculous comedy, but it's like the ridiculous comedy just hasn't been hitting, um, just hitting hard. This, the last just, few episodes. this middle part just yeah, it's just been yeah dragging the show down from its strong start. So. Yeah, they've had moments, but it's definitely not as like it's not from like it's anywhere near like the, the beginning of the show so i right. keep watching <laughs> same all right so i guess we're right in it there for how many for um my was it the villain show whatever uh we're going next to kaguya sama and so it's gonna be me and ku uh was it so ku last week's episode was it was the election wasn't it or was it yes was that the episode with um with when they were on stage or was that Yes. Okay, so what do you think of that episode? Uh, you know, it was alright. It wasn't really anything spectacular, to be honest. I thought this week's episode was way better, but... Uh, 
I mean, I, I, can't, I guess it was just kind of set it up for the new character to be added on to the student council. Was it because uh, was it last was last week's episode? Was it all just the election, just the on stage part, and then at the end it was just just the president um, asking Eno or to join? Yeah, I think it was just the election, and then afterwards uh, he was asking everyone to rejoin the student council, and then Kaguya had this little moment where she felt like she wasn't uh, she wasn't needed or she wasn't special to. Uh, um, Shirogane, but turns out she, uh, she was blah blah blah. But um, yeah, I think I think the whole episode was just the election because that's all I really. Oh, remember. It, was, it was election, and then and then Kaguya in like the the nursing the nurse bed because she was like yeah. feeling bad from like almost losing. So yeah, but I think that was it. So, so last mean, week's episode was mo- it was many like many it's mainly just the wholesome setting for you know, but then this week's episode <laughs> was the real deal. I just want to say the first part with um, Ishigami and him hating on on people, him hating on people wearing boxer briefs. Like, I don't want to hear that from anyone wearing whitey tidies, right? You don't get to say shit. Bro, I just, I completely forgot about that. Because when I was in high school, that was kind of a thing too, I guess, where people were like, man, do you wear boxers or, or briefs? And if you wear briefs, you're kind of gay. But if you wear boxers, you're a real well, he's man. About, he's talking about boxer briefs. Like, he's calling people who wear boxer well, briefs he, like man whores. Yeah. In general, but then I guess uh, I completely forgot about that. I guess in high school, that's that's a thing. Like that's important. It classifies who you are as a person. Well, I guess. it was it was it's funny because like because the intro part was like the narrator talking about panties. So you think it'd be like the the generic part where like they talk about like like panties, and then like and then it just show, shows like Chika and Kaguya walking into Ishigami, changing into and uh, good old good old whitey tidies, like, whitey tidies, <laughs> like. Again, you don't get to talk shit if you wear whitey tidies. So, oh, and then we figure out that uh, Shirogane is a man of culture. He he likes black panties. So that's that's where it sets up to the next part. Where yeah, he's trying. I mean, there's that part, but I thought it was more funny how Kaguya was trying so hard to ask him about, or she was like, she was trying, she was like contemplating whether or not to ask him about like what kind of underwear he likes, and then she just goes up and says it nonchalantly. I'm like, okay, this just happened. Yeah, I was expecting to see a whole uh, the scenario that she thought up of where she was going to give him tea, and then she accidentally trips and spills it on his pants, and you know get to see some little action going on. But uh, yeah, no, just nonchalantly just said, "Hey," and then just like the misunderstandings like? between the two of them. <laughs> that was... I, just, I just like how he went straight up to that. Oh, maybe if I tell her which one, she'll show me or something the next day or something. I was like, "Oh man, this guy's uh <clears throat> has some pretty wild uh, <laughs> has pretty wild imagination." Like, and then. <laughs> Well, there's all the misunderstandings, and then, like, he gets caught by Eno, like, asking about, like, the questions, and then he's, like, he's so, like, he's cringing so hard afterwards, like, it's just, first for the misunderstandings, and then just being caught by Eno, that was pretty funny. Yeah, I wonder if that's gonna be, like, a, like, a repeating trope that happens, because they did that throughout the whole, the whole episode, didn't they? At least twice, yeah, when the second part, when, um... Well, the, the hand massage. Oh, when he when when Kaga brought the hand massage, I thought I just thought about Final Fantasy Seven. Final Fantasy. <laughs> like the whole part of the hand massage. Like that's just all I thought about. And then like when oh, when the president was like he was like in pain. I just, I just thought about clouds like poor man's course for the hundred gill. I thought David, who takes the poor man's choice? I didn't take it. I just saw the people take it. Just just to yeah, see, I, I, just to I see their reactions. Oh, Okay. Okay. Did we all? Did we all do the the luxury I one? Luxury. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Good man. Good man. So that's all. Yeah. That's all I was thinking about. Just just Shirogane getting the, the poor man's course for his hand massage, and Kaguya did just thought she was doing a good job. I mean, yeah, she was innocent, a uh, very high class, so she's never done anything like that before. So obviously, she had no idea what she was doing. But uh, apparently, at the end of that segment, uh, apparently, it did do wonders for her shoulder. So well, her shoulder uh, massage were fine. It's just, just the hand, the hand. Massage. No, she didn't. She didn't even touch his shoulder. She was just touching his hand. Oh, was time. it? I yeah. Because the, the whole Unless... the whole point of her trying to crawl on top of the president was trying to do the shoulder massage. That's when she got caught again by you know opening the door. Yeah. So unless it was after that that misunderstanding where Eno ran out and then she performed the shoulder massage, uh, we never actually saw her do it. So, I mean, but I don't know. I mean, you know how they say that if it hurts, that means it's, it's working properly, right? So. So you know, maybe uh, you know, it'll hurt, but it's hurting good, you know. So, okay. I don't think massages are supposed to hurt. I'm pretty sure it's only supposed to at, feel good at first. At first, Ren, you know, because because it's your first time, so it's gonna hurt. But after, 
afterwards, it'll start feeling better. Yes. Sure. <laughs> but I guess I should say um, the best <laughs> part of the episode was the shoujo, the shoujo part when they brought in the shoujo manga. And then we got baited with like the in- the ending like halfway, and then the shoujo, the Kaguya shoujo ma- anime started. Yeah, I kind of felt like you know how Stratton's always talking about like spoilers, like ruiner. It's like I kind of felt like this could have been Stratton just carrying around like duct tape or whatever, or Maxon's tape, and just oh, like oh, yeah. <laughs> tape over their mouths <laughs> with spoilers. <laughs> like oh, but you didn't see the end where like the oh, guy man. terminal illness, and then they're yeah. like shut the fuck up. Yeah, dude. If- it definitely would be a snafu, man. If if there were people around me and had duct tape, dude, it would be more than that, man. It would be busy. That's why you see what happens. Is, is yeah. like, we'll take like, a little bit more, a step further, too. You know, duct tape's <laughs> not going to stop them from talking. There's other ways well, of stopping them. Because that. in this episode, it was basically like they're say, um, they're trying to convince like uh, Kaga to read this manga because it was really good. And then they're saying, yeah, I really like this part and this part. And Chica's like, yeah, I like the ending when the guy died. And that's when they brought the duct tape for Chica. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, oh, dude, it's too late, man. Dude. Oh, duct tape yeah. is not gonna make me feel better, man. You gotta, you gotta end that. Yeah, but I mean, this this is a uh, pretty subtle anime, so no no deaths or or anything like that's what happens. No, I'm, I'm dude, saying- apparently, somebody died, Ku, at the end of that manga. No, I'm, I'm talking about in, in in the actual show. Not yeah, not- but I'm saying it. But in the actual show, man, they have a manga that somebody died. Yeah, but it's it's, it's, not like, it's it's not dark at all when they're when they're laughing about it. And- um, that's messed up. Yeah. That, that is dark in its own way, though. If you're laughing about death, that's dark. Okay. Anyway, continue. But I was mainly talking <laughs> about the ending part too. After, after, because you had the, the the end credits, at like you know, like that twenty minutes, whatever. And then like you had the rest of the show being like what the show would be. If it was a shoujo anime. Oh, like, I didn't stay past the uh, the end credits. Oh, you should have, because it was like a full like ten minutes of them doing the shoujo. Guys. So. Guys, what really? Yeah, oh, God. you gotta because you gotta I, look I, at the end of the credits. Well, this one was it was obvious because I, I knew it ended too short, so I, I checked I checked the time and then it was like it was like twenty minutes was the ending credits. So, okay, there's way more stuff after this. So to, to be fair, uh, you need uh, that much time, David, to see that at the end of the credits. But yet, Otome, you couldn't have just checked the last couple minutes. No, like cause, cause this one was like <laughs> Sorry, super obvious. It was like it was like eighteen minutes or whatever, eighteen or twenty minutes. It's like when the credits were, so I knew there was like a full ten minutes of like extra stuff. Uh, again, I had two weeks to catch up to, or I had like one day today to catch up to two weeks worth of anime. So I, I was just kind of like just zooming past everything. <laughs> All right. So you should watch. You should watch the ending part. Then basically, like, because Kaguya ends up reading the manga, and then like she like, then like it turns into like uh, the president and Ishigami becomes like the stereotypical like shoujo like male leads, and then they try to go after Kaguya, and she goes, she, she like gets the like. Whole shoujo vibe, David. Oh, this is spoilers. Um, if I had David, dark tape, exactly, <laughs> David. I haven't seen it yet, so why would you spoil it for me? You know what? Since you already spoiled it, you might as well, well explain it. No, and just, I'll just spoil just, it. Just watch it. Just ruiner, ruiner, ruiner. <laughs> boo this man. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, go ahead. I don't really care much for shoujo no. stuff. So no, it's just a parody of a bunch of shoujo tropes. So it's it's one of those things where it's like you just watch it because it's funny in that moment. So. But, um, I mean, but yeah, I mean that that kind of sucks. I guess I should have paid more attention. But, I mean, it's just uh, a comedy part. It's nothing like it's super important. So, bro, this stuff is all about <laughs> comedy. You're supposed to see every aspect. Yeah, okay, then just watch it. God. It's okay. I'm only watching this for Chica, anyways. I don't really care about anything else. So, I mean, she's she just sh- end up she just show up in that last part too. So, it's still a great show. It's like, um, probably my favorite this season so far. So. So we're going to next to to That's not a valid reason, David. Saying yes, Jay, for me. Mm-hmm. Um. So, Ku, last week's episode, and on a cliffhanger. Oh my god! I, oh my god! I'm dude. sad that you weren't here to talk about it because last week was huge, and then oh my god, it's kind of disappointing this episode, this week's episode. So, I guess let's get a reaction for last week's. What do you think of that last like minute of that last dude? <laughs> that last oh episode? my god, <laughs> dude, Riku! Oh my god, D was about to get it in. And then all of a sudden she was like, "Nope, just 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 major fucking cock tease. And then uh, like even her friend was like, "Yeah, yeah, you uh, you're kind of bad. Like, how dare you do that to that guy? You know, just give him his hopes up after denying the guy and then inviting him over to her place. She was like literally outside the front door, and she was just like, "No, sorry, uh, I don't feel like it." And then she had the nerves or the audacity to tell the guy. Man, if only you were as aggressive as a role. <laughs> I was like, 
Ooh. Yeah, that wasn't good. Ooh, man. I mean, usually it's like, you know, this guy's respectful. It's like no means no. But then this girl is like, uh, if only, you know, just because I said no doesn't mean that you can't keep going. I actually wanted you to keep going. I was like, no, bitch. No means no. <laughs> like, he said no. Oh, just. Oh, and then, like, and then, bro, do I fucking hate Roll? Like, his character? Fucking hate him. Like, I swear to God, if, if he actually got what he wanted uh, with the way that he acted, like, he would, like, I would, I would totally wish the most horrible things to him because that shit just pissed me off so bad and then and then with fucking haru do i feel so bad for oh yeah that happened this episode too god and then like they even had the they changed the ending scene uh the ending um credits uh, credits yeah to be this like i mean it's pretty cute pretty uh pretty original i i guess uh where yeah she's like one of those like uh like shoot 'em games yeah and it shows that I guess it's showing like foreshadowing what's to come, right? She she first like tries to get uh, Ruku's uh, affection, and then like towards the end, she finds that he's actually going off with uh, Shinako, and then the end credits is like game over. Do you want to continue? Yes or no? <laughs> and then she's still highlighting over yes. So like I feel like I, she's I didn't just see that, go. but that's a really good, nice detail. Yeah, so it's like, is it, is it foreshadowing the the future events or just a little tease? You know, like is is Shinako and Riku actually going to get together? Which, you know, they might. But uh, yeah, I just I just feel so bad for Haru. I mean, Riku is kind of like on a neutral position for me right now. But man, Shinako and Ro, do I fucking hate them? Like, oh, you I have can't... no idea. I wish you were here last week, but like. Cause I, I I was thinking like after last week that it would go the Shinako route, but then like it just it just just threw everything off, and it's like if they get together after this, it would look so bad. Like I don't know, like it just felt so unnatural. Like that all after all of this, that she would actually like finally start like get over. Like cool, this is what I'm talking about with Shinako. Like the whole like getting over like the, the yeah, dead yeah, guy. I, like I get, it. I get it. This is what I'll brought us her. to this point. It's like because she's so like. She's so stuck in the past. And this is what happened. Like, this is what brought us to this moment. Look, look, like, I want to say that, yeah, as of right now, hindsight is twenty twenty, right? I was giving her the benefit of the doubt, right? She was trying to get over, you know, like her lost loved one. She's never been in a relationship before. And uh, like one of her friends stated, you know, like the situation that she had in her head, it was probably just more romanticized in her head, which makes her feel more attached to it. But it probably wasn't as great as she thought it was. Um, so she just didn't know any better because she was like a naive, like adult woman. But yeah, this, like I said, these last two episodes totally uh, changed my mind about her. Uh, so I, I totally regret giving her the benefit of the doubt. But <laughs> I mean, you uh, should you shouldn't regret giving the benefit of the doubt because like the, she could have changed. I was just the one being overly negative. So like this is what I was hoping not happen. Like like, but. I don't yeah, know. like like I said, after watching after watching that last week's episode, and then uh, like when they they cut it out to the part where she was about to go inside the apartment, and then they played that that new end credit scene, I was like, oh shit, like maybe maybe this is it, maybe this is the part where they just get together, you know? But uh, and then this episode or this week's episode, they just you know they did what they did. So um, we need that white truck to come and kill somebody because I feel like that's. <laughs> only way there's going to be any kind of like good resolution like but, um, i hope it hits you, but i mean i don't know we'll, we'll see like i like i wish i wish your character wouldn't do this because like i just feel mat- like like her and rico would be better maturity wise but like i just feel so like now like i feel so bad for haru just like just being yes. like, she, had, she has like the worst like end of all this like she's like gets screw the most like it just reminds me too of how like earlier when she like was going wanted to go out with like Rico at that movie and she got stood up for like hours, and then now and like she was like looking around his convenience store to see if he was working and now it's like just straight up just got told like hey like you just don't see me anymore like that's rough and like yeah I mean to be honest that's I mean that's kind of what I like about this series is the fact that they're kind of just giving you all these different scenarios and all these different characteristics and personalities of people, and then they they just go to show you that no matter even if like you were to keep trying, sometimes it won't work out in your favor. And as we can see as of right now, 
like even though like he stood her up before and like he's not really like he's he's clearly shown that he doesn't see her in that way but she's just constantly pushing like if if Riku was like like that towards Shinako, maybe he would have gotten her gotten with her already but then it's the other way around with Haru doing that for Riku and he doesn't care much for it and they're not going to get together because of that so it's just showing that uh it, it doesn't really matter it's just luck of the draw whatever you do it it'll, it'll either work or it won't work so there's no for sure way of approaching someone yeah i'm just i, I just yeah i'm just saying I just feel bad for her because she's like out, out, on this show she's gotten screwed over the most so and then i guess like for a row like i don't i don't hate him as much but like i just i just, how could you not I, Okay, like I, maybe I just I just I just like him, or I I feel like he doesn't fit in with the show as much. But like, I just I just think he's just immature and he just needs to get out of the picture. Like, I guess I guess like after the whole thing was that last I guess that was last week's episode, yeah, where like he was like he put his arms around Shinako saying like I'm gonna try to be the better, try to be better than my brother, blah blah. It's like, like he just needs to like get out of the picture and like get over his brother which which i still think like i mean to be fair like like shinako's is the one that keeps like hanging him on about it so that's why i i feel a little bad for him but i just that's why i don't hate him as much i just feel like he just needs to be out of the picture and he's he's too immature to deal with any of this either so i guess that's why i don't really hate him as much but for, for shinako no, I mean... though like like she basically she, she dug her own grave like like that's why like, i think Rico needs to just move on so but that's the thing, though. It's so unfair. It's because she's a female, right? If she was a man, then obviously it's over. But since she is a female and then, like, Ruko is kind of chasing after her, there's always going to be a chance for her. The ball is still in her court, which I find to be totally unfair and totally mm-hmm. fucked up. So, I mean, it's whatever. But, do like, with Ro, like, I just can't... Um, I just can't appreciate the type of character that, that he is. Like it, it oh, like every aspect yeah. of that. Just no, no, that's, so that's understandable. Like, yeah, he's not a good character. Like, he's still like the weakest out of the cast. So, yeah, but again, like I said, I, I think it was either this episode or last episode. They did highlight like a white truck at a stoplight. So it's, <laughs> you and your it's driving around. It's driving around, bro. <laughs> you and your damn <laughs> white trucks. You just want to see someone die right. in this show. Someone, I'm telling you, someone has to die. There has to be a way for them to sort this out forcefully like because there's no way that anyone is going to come to resolution on their own right like Ro wants to go after Shinako but she's not letting him uh Shinako wants Riku and vice versa but uh, you know the ball is in Shinako's court and she's too much she's too indecisive to actually uh engage any relationship and then Haru constantly chases after Riku but he obviously doesn't see her in that way so like nothing's going to get done in this certain situation, so something has to force their hand, which I'm assuming is going to be truck. that white truck. <laughs> the white truck is going to cause shit to happen. You know, I'm telling you. Yeah, I guess we'll see how this plays out. Like, because I, I, I don't, I don't know. If, like, it's just the whole thing of um, with like Haru, just like with Riku. Like, I don't know if that's going to actually push away Haru when he rejected her so we'll see how it plays out because like it just it doesn't feel like it doesn't feel like there's any way for them any for anyone to get together with like with all the actions that's happened in the past episodes so yeah i mean there's 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 a lot that's up in the air right now but which is why i said that that end scene the new end scene uh end credit scene was a nice touch because it gives you hope that oh i guess i guess up. what would be next the logical thing would be is if haru just keeps trying then and just like like ignores like Riku's request and just keeps pushing so i guess that could happen yeah yeah so i mean i i guess we'll see but i mean i'm i'm looking forward towards the end i want to see how this like uh con- concludes um yeah i got to say like i i did not expect this series to to get me so emotionally <laughs> involved it's cuz last yeah. it was last week's episode it was that was their fault like they baited us and then they like they like really, they bait us and then like hard like hard to drop the ball like super hard this week. So this this, this is the show that has what eighteen seasons, right? Or seasons. <laughs> I wish. I think, oh man, I think eighteen episodes. Yes. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. Eighteen seasons of just depression. It seems tough. No, it's ups and downs, bro. Ups it's and not downs. Depression. It's it's 
It sounds pretty fucking depressing, dude. dude if, if, if Days of Our Lives can get however many seasons they got, this show could... Dude, I would why would you relate that to... That's a terrible relation. Bro, because it's kind of like a soap opera, but instead of like it's, real life, it's anime. It's not really a soap opera. It's like It could be. Yeah, but it's it also not be. for like, middle-aged women. <laughs> it's not either, Bro, but, but it's, like, it's, 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 okay. it's grounded, <laughs> and it's more realistic and more like slower paced, so... Yeah, it's totally realistic. It's a nice oh, break and from like, all the animes we've been watching about like all the like all the hyper characters, I don't know. The, the happiness and you know, not happiness, you know, just like the over life. over the top and obnoxious characters we had. This is more like grounded. Surrender, dude. I'm telling you, you should, you should give it a yeah, try. I'm good. I'm yeah. good. Oh, I don't. I don't I need have, to hear I friends. already. I have to. I have to finish March Kim's Nickel Lion. No, I don't first. need to hear Sprint's opinions on this. We already know it's that's gonna be gonna be very, very sad and depressing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, I'm, gonna well, be, I'm gonna be very biased. Okay, I'll tell you what. If it if it if it does end up being depressing, uh, I'll I'll tell you not to watch it. But if it turns out to have a really good ending, then I would suggest you watch it. I'll, I'll let you know. I gotta watch March Comes in the Lion first. So, actually, that's not true, David, because March Comes in the Lion, like it's actually really good, and it's it's sad, happy, depressed. It has everything. It's, it's really good. Thing, you know? Yeah, yeah, makes you really rid of those days where you were bullied. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Jesus. Thanks for the depressed. Thanks for the PTSD. Oh jeez. All right. So there was us before the end of the podcast. Um, I don't know, Brian, if you heard, but uh, David, your thoughts on High Q? Oh, look at that. This will be kind of like a little entrance. Let me. So, okay. Well, before that, Ku, do you have any final thoughts I thought you were for done. for sing yesterday for me before this fuck interrupted us? Uh, I did. I did notice that. Um, like when Riku was talking with his buddy. When he mentioned that he was going to get married and he wanted him to be his wedding photographer, he was playing on the Sega Genesis. So that does confirm that it is in like 90s. the midnight. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So that, I thought that was a nice touch. Okay. But that, I think that's it. So yeah. Dude, he could just be in the retro. No, no, that shit was fresh, yeah. bro. It wasn't. It wasn't like the the phone boots and like the the was it the pay the pay the pay phones and the variety phones that gave it away. No, because like I said, like. If, when you go with a gaming console, they only last for so long, so you can tell which <laughs> era it came from, right? As okay. as a fellow gamer, I know for sure that Sega Genesis was like mid to early nineties. Okay, so so relax. Okay, that's all I know. All right, so that's that's our final thoughts for Sing Yesterday for me. And then, um, yeah, so I'm caught up to season three of High so I just I'll just give my little oh boy, okay, just. My just my quick thoughts just um, I'm because I'm upset with Stren. I like the volleyball and I don't really care about like the, the character character dramas or course, yeah, the training course, arcs. Yeah. <laughs> so when so like so like when they're in between like the games like I really I really like don't enjoy those parts. I just wait till the volleyball happens and then I'm like I'm full on there. Like when it's in between the when it's like training stuff like I just do one episode per night or whatever. But then when it's like the volleyball games, I'm just marathoning all that. I enjoyed Terrible. it so much. Let's see how much you enjoy the volleyball, David, with this fourth season. Okay. Just how just how much you like this animation. Okay. So you must have loved the season three because it was season three is I like binge for all that in like one night because it was so good. Nice. So Alan, I was just, I, guess, I guess like Hinata and, and Nishino are like my favorite characters. Nishinoya. Would, you say this, would you would you say season three was was on fire, David? Yes. Okay. The, sure. the, the LP was really good too. It was probably my favorite of the three. Okay. Yeah. So. All right. That's it, David. That's all you have. Well, what else? Three seasons. Say? That's all you gotta say. I, uh, yeah. That's all you gotta really say. Yeah. So I I enjoy the show. Oh, just like, yeah. yeah. I just just when it was not volleyball, like it dragged on for me. So that's like my only criticism. Is that like, I mean, I, I enjoy when, the characters, but like, I just like like when they're training, like I just could not be interested in anything. Like, when are you oh, planning on watching season you're four? That person, David. Okay. I <laughs> Yeah, I just want to see the. I just want to see finally, the. Brian, okay. Finally, finally, I just want to see the volleyball. David doesn't appreciate the build up. No, of the no. not volleyball. He just wants to see the tournament saga. <laughs> yeah. and not what it went into. Yeah. Okay, David. Give me the tournament saga. Good. Give me the fight. Oh my god. Okay, dude. You don't get to see the struggles and the epiphanies. No, because like I don't play volleyball. And what oh my they god, go through, dude. man. Oh my god. No. Yeah. You don't need to play. Ungrateful. <laughs> Motherfucker, dude. <laughs> like, dude, like the, the just like like them, like uh, you know, connecting as a team, like the the bonds basically no, dude, when they lost together. Quick. Yeah, oh, David doesn't care when they lost no, no, together when they won together. Give me, God, give me, give damn, me that, give so me that Kaguya Hinata quick, and then just give me the Skishima block. And that's all I need. 
Yeah, you bro, know, you're you're so basic. Basic. No, no, David. I never, I never thought you were so basic before, David. Dude, David, 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 if you watch this, this I don't understand it. why you don't just watch <laughs> actual volleyball, man. Like, just go and watch actual professional ball volleyball instead of this. Because it's anime yeah, volleyball. Man. It's more exciting. Because yeah, in real volleyball, David, David, real you life, get, you don't. You yeah, get, exactly. <laughs> impact dude that's it yeah you don't have to worry about any of their lives david they just play the game and then it's over and then you that's it <laughs> rebuttal what i just what? Enjoyed, no, I, just, I just like i just really enjoyed the volleyball so that's all i was looking forward to okay, okay. man all right all right I mean, I, didn't try okay, to, no, I enjoyed the characters. Training. I just like, I just thought I dragged on the the training stuff. Oh my god, the characters! How do you enjoy characters? Training was so good. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Like the parts that dragged on was when they're literally having the five minute internal like dialogue about what's gonna happen next in like two seconds relative time. Huh? I enjoyed, yeah. No, I enjoyed that. <laughs> did you? Did yeah. you, David? Yeah, everything know, about man. the volleyball, like the actual volleyball, I really enjoyed. Okay. Okay. Uh, like some of the best moments was this, like, like for me, for me, training camp, just ridiculous connection. When they lost, like afterwards, like uh, in this in season in season two, or was it the end of season yeah, season one? They lost or yeah. season two. Okay, okay season one. Okay, that was like that end was of the first part of the volleyball, though. So, uh, so okay, so you're counting afterwards, like when they were all eating together at the at that restaurant. Well, I mean, like just in those moments. I mean. Just like that's, that's character mo- development, dude. most of it is like right, right when they lost. So yeah, I see. <laughs> I mean, I still okay. enjoy the show. So all right, man. You know, that, that's all I can ask from you. That's okay. That's all I can ask. <laughs> oh yeah, Brian. I mean, I could like uh, not David, watch David, this. So David's favorite character is Kageyama. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> David, you were supposed, okay, okay, Brian was supposed to jump in before that was ha- before that was said, but oh, yeah. I, I don't you can't like jump in when the man literally just says it. I know. So I, David's too, too, too. Yeah. I, don't, I mean, I don't hate himself. him, but I just I don't like Kageyama. Because you don't. It's because you don't main support, man. He's a douche. You just support haters. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so that's gonna end it for uh. this week. <laughs> well, thank the listeners for joining us. <laughs> listeners ramble about IQ and everyone just thanks everyone on me for IQ. Go me fly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean it's. Brian, it's, 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 we're ready for it. volleyball this summer. <laughs> Definitely, oh, one of the, totally ready. One of the best parts of Haikyuu are, are the characters and the development, not just <laughs> Me the volleyball. Me and Brian are totally ready for volleyball. So, <sighs> oh, I want to thank oh, yeah. the, the panel for joining me. You going? You able to go to the gym, David, during COVID? <laughs> no, but still ready for okay. volleyball. Okay, so I'll have a heart attack and die too. <laughs> I'll join you. Jesus. All right, that's got it for this week. So. <laughs> See you later.